custom built PCs by professionals. At Apex Gaming PCs, go to the link in the description to get a PC personally designed by me. So dudes, uh, so this video was supposed to be the recruit how-to, but it is not. It is, it is this. Um, it is about this topic instead. And, and, you, and you know, I, I, I wish, I wish it wasn't. I wish it wasn't about this, but I sat down and I wanted to make something. Map tier list, assault rifle tier list. And I can't get this crap off of my brain. I can't talk about Siege without at least making something about this. And it, once again, like here we are, three months, every three months we have this conversation, bada bing, bada boom. Oh, hey, great season, blah, blah, blah. Great content, new map, new operators, really cool, really dynamic. I like Solus a lot. And then eventually, month goes by, the cheat makers figure out how to get around the new bulwark. And then it's, and then it's Attack on Titan. Uh, the outer walls have fallen again and again and again. Every three months we have the same freaking conversation, and I and I don't and I don't know what to do, okay? Because I don't know how to explain to people how bad it is. So I'm just I'm just gonna show you, okay? Because I think content creators go, oh wow, there's a lot of cheaters. It's really bad, and then the average person doesn't really know what we're talking about, right? Because they think that we might just accusate uh, randomly because we suck or we're insecure or. We maybe run into cheaters and then we're paranoid. To some extent, yes. To all of those things, especially me. Um, as you can see, you know, the the O and two warlord in in this lobby. But the reason that I'm making this video isn't because I went O and two. The reason I'm making this video uh, is because there's no way of knowing unless you play the game for a significant amount of time and you start to notice these things. Right? There's pattern recognition. So in this scenario. That is a trace, okay? This is a trace through a thing. You can't see through this. You can't see through this. And then, of course, the other counter-arguments someone could make here. Let's let's take a look at all the possible counter-arguments in this. Example of this tracing headshot. Oh, well, Greg, he does see him. That's why he's aiming at him. Then why doesn't he shoot him? If you, if you can see this and you have a shot, why not just take the shot? You can shoot through these leaves. You can do that. People know that, right? No. That's not what happened. He's waiting for the shot, right? He's to clear the threshold and then take the shot. This person is not holding the angle like this and making a guess. That would be an educated guess of the route that the Zofia is running in this scenario, okay? That would be an educated guess. That would be a guesstimate spawn peak. Hold this. Guy runs out. Bop. That is a spawn peak. That's not cheating. Tracing through the freaking tree for no reason is cheating. And and we don't try to come at me and go, oh, this is just one example. Because everybody looked at this dude's R6 tracker. We played in a game with him before. Had a life game, like 50 million kills. And then it was a little bit odd then. And then it was really odd when we were playing against them, because then we realized, oh, that's why this person was popping off. <laughs> so people think that the cheating situation isn't bad because they don't get to the high elo where this sort of where this sort of thing happens again and again and again. And I'm not saying that if you aren't high elo like me, you would never understand the rigors of my professional expedition. I'm not saying that. Okay, if you have been fortunate enough to avoid this crap, you're lucky, good on you, the game's fun. But for a lot of people, it's not like that. And it, it's, I don't think it's going to be like that for everybody, too, because this is happening in quick play. This is happening in quick play, too. Okay, whatever countermeasures that we've enacted, whatever we've done, Ron video, nope, whatever we've done, Ron video, there it is. Is clearly not working. Okay. So that was an example of a closet shooter that I just showed you. This is a blatant. So, when you run into a blatant, it's frustrating, of course, because it wastes your freaking time. This is annoying. 
But all the closeters make it on a more annoying scale because closeters, you can never really tell until they make a lucky guess five million times in a row and just magically have information that they shouldn't repeatedly tons of times with no means of gathering the information. Okay? This is why people, you know, they get a rise out of, oh, I got hackusated. Because it shows that, hey, I'm, I'm playing in a way that is so above this guy's understanding, he doesn't even know. Uh, he thinks that I'm playing Siege on a completely different level. Right? And it's funny. It's funny when you get hackusated. I've been hackusated. I got hackusated during this stream, which was hysterical. Right? Imagine hackusating me. 0.8 KD Diamond 5. That's embarrassing. But when you notice stuff like this, especially after playing the game a whole bunch, and you go, hey, hey, what are we doing? What's going on? This is happening too much. People are going to stop playing the game. And then we bring it up, and then it's like, well, I personally don't play against these people, so I don't know. I've been lucky enough to get away from it. Yes. Yes, that is correct. You have been lucky to avoid it. And it's going to mess the game up again. And we, again, we have this conversation every three months. And, but what made it different this time, right, is that it was off at the back of Brutal Swarm, which was a brutally bad season. Grim sucked, okay? The map content stunk. That There was no map content, right? There was Stadium Bravo uh, and Ranked. Vector Glare sends super underwhelming, really difficult to get around, uh, a TDM map that nobody likes playing. So basically half a year of, of Snoozeville, and then we finally get to an awesome season. We get Solus, we get Nighthaven Labs, everything's looking good. Ubisoft announces a brand new anti-cheat, QB anti-cheat. Let's see, what do they call it? QB anti-cheat. Were they talking about Carson Wentz? Because this ain't working. This ain't working, guys. QB anti-cheat. New anti-cheat update! Oh my goodness, we did it! We did it, guys! And the whole idea... Now I can't find it. But the whole idea was the game would make a, a new version of itself. As far as I understand. I think this is what they were talking about. Status update. Yeah, here it is. QB initiative. Gosh, reading off like, like the Washington Commanders in terms of the QB initiative here. Okay. We recently released a security update to the PC population. No, we can't share details. So this idea here was to make a new version of the game uh, repeatedly. And then at this point, somebody would have to make a brand new line of code in order to get around uh, this, this security countermeasure. Uh, that is a very rudimentary way of putting it. Correct me if I'm wrong, if you actually know how software engineering works, unlike me, in the comments below. Uh, but yeah, QB anti-cheat. It's not, it's not very... It, we're, we're benching this quarterback, is all I'm going to say. Because I don't know what the hell's going on. And it's extremely frustrating when, when we do this, this little dance. Same old song and dance every three months. And it's like, wow, this is bad, this is bad, this is the worst it's ever been. Look at my buddy, uh, look at my buddy, um, Warden here. I mean, like, here he is in, in quick match, in quick play. And we're playing against this garbage. Garbage! Why? Why? What are you doing? Why are you doing this in quick match? What is wrong with you? Touch grass immediately! Seriously, it's it's for your own benefit and for the benefit of other people around you. One friendly operator remains. I don't like What are we doing? What what are we doing, guys? I don't I, like I've had the conversation so many times. I made a video about it. Oh, there's, oh, there's more cheaters. The cheaters are going to ruin the game. And then I tried to give my best like analytical, academic look at it. I read a bunch of research papers. And, and tried my best to synthesize as much information as I could from a layman's perspective because I don't do software engineering. I understand that. I understand that I can't give you the specifics. Okay? But just because I can't give you the specifics doesn't mean that the specifics of, hey, here's a business model that's going to get corrupted by this crap if you don't fix it is incorrect. Because I am correct. Okay? I'm making 
factual statements here. Nothing that I'm saying is wrong when I say that the game is suffering dramatically as a result of this garbage. And this is what this is what pisses me off the most about it, right? This is what irritates the shit out of me when guys like gaming streamers go off about how they I can't play the game because of I'm I'm doing all that I can do. And it's just not enough for this terrible zero skill gap dog shit in boomer controller an idiot plasma screen TV and seven kids default GameStop remote from 2008 and console Xbox one bullet dog shit game dude bro turtle beaches fucking connect my bro the turtle beaches you're mad about about the 40 year old who got off work managing the IHOP that's what you're mad about you're mad that the game is popular enough for most people what? What? I, I I wish that that was the least of Siege's problems. I, I, I wish that the problem with Siege was there's too many normal people playing it. I wish, I, like, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Are you kidding? Gosh. I don't even... It... Oh, I, I did, you know political memes i might get back in the political meme game because because the gaming I, siege isn't ah, i just i don't i don't know i don't know what the solution is and because i don't know the solution then it's oh well you're well you can't talk about it because you don't know well i do know i do know a thing or two about business management and i know that if i'm john ubisoft all right if i'm john Ubisoft, all right? Howard Hamlin looking ass. J Joan? I can't write. Fuck, sorry, hold on. There we go. John Ubi. And here are my engineers, my coders, okay? And my coders, my program guys, are outnumbered by the gremlins. I'll draw. I'll, I'll make them green for gremlin little goblins. And there's a million of these goblins making brewing brewing magic potions in their underground layers. All these little cheat engines and shit. And it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter what Ubisoft does because. They're outnumbered, right? Siege is in a war. So if I'm looking at this, hmm, what's going on here? I'm not John Ubisoft looking at this and going, eh, I mean, we're making money off of alpha packs. We're making money off, uh, you know, uh, advertising for pro league shit. That's pretty dope. We're making net profit. Who cares? Right? Because you're not always going to make net profit if the game suffers from population hemorrhaging. Okay? It's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. Right? It's an ecosystem. You can put a bunch of caribou on an island. If there's nothing to keep the caribou from eating all the vegetation, what happens to the caribou? Yes, it's great for the caribou for a month, I guess, a couple weeks. And then eventually it's not. So it doesn't matter now if the game is making money off of alpha packs, dude. We're talking about the longevity of it. So what you need to do, what John Ubisoft has to do in this situation, because people think I'm, you know, I'm like coming at the devs. I have nothing but respect for the devs in Montreal. I've talked with a number of the devs. I've, I've had great conversations with people involved in the production of the game. They're doing everything they can, okay? What, what, whoever is responsible, right? Whoever is the guy who calls this shot needs to call this shot or pay more attention to be able to know when to call this shot. What UB needs is funding 
so that they can outproduce these little assholes, and they need more people. They need more people, because right now, whatever we got is not working, and we keep doing this. We do this every three months. If I'm John Ubisoft, I'm looking at the situation, and I'm going, hmm, this is my most profitable live surface game. I would like it if my most profitable live surface game continued to be profitable in general. It's going to make you money. It's going to make you money in the long run. This is a good decision. Go to John Montreal. All right, let's name him uh, uh, Jean Montreal. <laughs> See what I did there? Right? Talk to Jean Montreal. And ask him, what do you need? What What do you need? And then Jean Montreal is going to say, money, people. And then you give Jean as many people as he freaking needs to get this shit done, dude. You give him a blank check. That's the solution, okay? None of the, we, we don't need to talk about any of this other garbage. We don't need to talk about... Uh, uh, what's going on with the new season? Oh, uh, skins. Uh, content. Well, they stopped making as many operators. Well, the game kind of fell off after they stopped uh, releasing as many operators and made a new map. Uh, like, th the game's always done, like, relatively well, okay? Even when we were going through, you know, we were scaling back the content. Especially during 2020. Like, it had a resurgence due to Kokona virus. Now, I know that everybody, you know, has a life now, but the cheaters don't have a life. So they, you know, they're still here. All right, they're still... Causing trouble. But all this other, all this other noise. All of this like, oh, what do we do with the content? Well, we, you know, we haven't really, you know, we don't release two new operators anymore. We don't release a new gun every time. Oh, uh, well, it's just IQ on defense. Oh, uh, well, the new map's really good, but, you know, we can't, you know, I don't know if it's really good for competitive. Uh, how many map reworks are we going to do? Uh, what about the sound engine? What about this? What about that? What about Siege 2? Blah, 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 blah. It's all freaking blah, 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 blah. Until the cheating thing gets addressed. Okay, the Grinch stole Christmas. I don't know what to tell you guys. It's, it, like... This, this is it. This is the thing that we have to fix. This is what we got to do. And I, and I know it's hard. I get it. But that doesn't make it any less important, okay? Just because something is hard doesn't mean that we can ignore it. It's got to get done. Game's going to fall off a cliff if we don't. So yeah, there's lots of ways to identify cheaters in Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, you know, and I guess that's the content that we're going to do. Um, because wh what the hell else can we make content about? I go into a game, six, seven games in a row, it's cheaters. What's there to record? What's there to talk about? Why get better at the game? There's no point in getting better at the game. There's no point in grinding for a charm. There's no point in getting the shiny object. Because everybody else is going to make the quest for the shiny object completely pointless. So, cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I've said everything that I can. So, if they're racist, they're probably cheating. Uh, also, if they accuse you of cheating when you didn't cheat, that could be a self-report. That's also something to think about. Um, yeah. So, please help. The game will explode. Uh, if something isn't done, and I've said this five million times, and maybe if I say it another time, and another time, and another time, maybe somebody will listen, or uh, they could just, you know, I don't know, maybe somebody will get mad at me instead, uh, and then, you know, Ubisoft will stop talking to me. I don't know. We'll find out uh, in the next episode of whatever the fuck this show is. This show sucks. Um, please help. Thanks, Ubisoft. Bye. Deuces.